After three days of expo and conference, the international platform for geospatial IT, Intergeo 2022, comes to an end. So welcome to our final edition of Intergeo TV News from Essen. With almost 500 exhibitors from over 30 countries, around 15,000 trade visitors from 100 countries, Intergeo is back. So this sentence we heard a lot from many participants and exhibitors, and they are all more than happy. My first Intergeo, um, after spending 20 years in construction, I now okay. get a taste of uh, real technology here. We learned to do video conference, mm -hmm. but we also know it's necessary to meet in person. Brilliant, I'm absolutely fan over fantastic being here. It's just wonderful. How do you rate that live meeting atmosphere? More real. <laughs> Happy to be here. In the world of technology, really people makes a difference. And that's what we experience here at Intergeo. Having the whole industry here, uh, many of our customers, of our dealers, of our partners. It's immense. Yeah. It, it is. is immense. <laughs> we are covering more than 460 companies at all here, 39 nearly 39 nations in Essen, Germany. Ja! Äh, der, dieser Bereich, Geoinformation, Vermessung, der ist schon weit vorne. Aber das sind natürlich auch Menschen, die haben das richtige Mindset dafür. We have bridged a lot and now we must go on to be faced on that aim to be um, CO2 neutral. Look who I met here in the middle of the exhibition halls of Intergeo 2022 in Essen. It's Chava Singer from HRO. Tell us more about the use cases where the HRO is used for. So at the moment we could find out that um, in research and development, when there are some PhDs, uh, when some professors apply for federal funds, they used to do it more and more with HRO. Um, and um, therefore, there is also a relatively high success rate. So we have three different flight modes. So one of the flight modes is free flight, indoor and outdoor. Of course, there the weather must fit. The, the wind um, sensitivity is relatively high. But if we want to have a position holding outdoor, for example, looking at traffic, um, then we can have also a tethered balloon with the same device. We just need to, let's say, manipulate it a bit. And then we can have it in the mode of a raft, like an aerosol. And there we can fly uh, huge areas with the wind, collecting data like a satellite. At the conference, 120 speakers attracted more than 1,000 conference attendees and organizer DVW, Society for Geodesy, Geoinformation and Land Management, is very happy to finally bring many people into exchange again with a live event. So here are some statements from the Intergeo organizers. Ich möchte gar keine einzelnen Themen hervorheben, sondern vielmehr, die Intergeo-Konferenz hat in diesem Jahr die richtigen Themen gesetzt. Die Innovation in der Geospatial-Branche geht weiter und ich bin fest davon überzeugt, dass die diesjährige Intergeo diese Entwicklung maßgebend beschleunigen wird. Geoinformationen werden zukünftig folgenden Charakter haben. Sie werden autonom sein, sie werden smart sein und sie werden vernetzt sein. Und außerdem sind Geoinformationen auch umweltfokussiert und sehr stark interdisziplinär geprägt. Und ganz, ganz wichtig, sie haben stets den Menschen im Mittelpunkt. Zusammengefasst heißt das, sie sind aus unserem Leben einfach nicht mehr wegzudenken, denn wichtige Entscheidungen werden zukünftig ohne verlässliche Modellierung nicht mehr auskommen. Und für den DVW bin ich ganz besonders stolz darauf, der DVW als Veranstalter, ihm ist es gelungen, sehr viel junges Publikum auf die diesjährige Intergeo hier nach Essen zu holen. Exemplarisch hierfür seien die Pitches der Studierenden, aber auch der Intergeo School Day genannt, bei dem über 70 Schülerinnen und Schüler die Intergeo besucht haben. Kurzum, es hat sich wieder angefühlt wie eine richtige Intergeo. Die Intergeo ist zurück, Konferenz. Und auch Messebesucher sind begeistert und endlich konnte die Nachfrage der Geo-Community nach direkter Kommunikation und unmittelbarem Austausch bedient werden. Die Intergeo hier in Essen hat diese Lücke mit Erfolg geschlossen. It was familiar to a show like they had in 2019 in Stuttgart. So, so many networking, so many talks, so many interactions in between the audiences. A lot of people here on the grounds, international guests, international exhibitors. It was thrilling, a thrilling show. 
the official Intergeo closing. On behalf of the Platinum sponsors, Markus Westphal from Trimble Geospatial and Michael Mudra from Hexagon Geosystems emphasized how important it was that Intergeo was held again as a face-to-face -face event, enabling them to reach international customers in person. The importance of the innovations shown at Intergeo also made Intergeo a significant exhibition for the geospatial industry. The organizer DVW was very satisfied with the response to the conference and to special events for young professionals, including pitches for students and the Intergeo School Day. Daniel Katzer from Hinter Expo and Conference gave the first figures of Intergeo and drew an overall positive conclusion with the words, Intergeo is back. For DVW President Hans-Jörg Kutterer of the organizer, this Intergeo was a very special one. For professional reasons, he must step down from this office at the end of 22. It was time to say goodbye and to thank him. With Rudolf Steiger currently still acting FIG president, the successor who will take over the presidency from January 2023 has already been determined. So Intergeo 2022 was a blast. Thank you for joining the geospatial community. Thank you for being part of Intergeo. We say bye for now from Essen with these pictures and impressions, but we also say see you again in Berlin 2023. Yeah, bye, tschüss, ciao. <laughs>